My name is Nancy Cartwright. I'm a professor of philosophy here at the London School of Economics, and I'd like to tell you something about our philosophy department here. Our department's no ordinary department of philosophy, as the name reflects. It is the department of philosophy, logic, and scientific method. Scientific method, that's philosophy of the natural and social sciences. The logic we do here is practically oriented. It is primarily the logic of rational decision making in science, in policy, and in everyday life. We do this from both a formal point of view. We have probably the world's best group in rational choice theory here. And we do it from a practical point of view, with emphasis on social and economic policy on the one hand, and quite differently on rational decision making in the sciences on the other. When it comes to philosophy of science, our department is almost unique. Unlike almost all other departments, we self-consciously and deliberately aim to cover both the natural and the social sciences together. This is in part due to our special location here in the London School of Economics and Political Science, where we interact with and draw on some of the world's top economists and social scientists. But it is also because we believe that the disciplines feed into one another that lessons travel from one to another, and that the real social and engineering problems that we must face in today's world lie in the interstices of the disciplines. So, you can study here the philosophy of physics, you can study evolutionary game theory, you can study how to improve child welfare or international HIV AIDS policies, and you can study questions about the nature of causality, evidence, problems with modeling climate change, or what makes for scientific objectivity or rational theory change. And what you learn in any one of these areas will be informed by neighboring research in all the others. We follow here in the footsteps of great predecessors in our own department, Karl Popper and Imre Lakatos, and other great philosophers who have worked at the school, like Hayek, Sen, or Lionel Robbins. We are aided in this by the Forum for European Philosophy, which is the most public face of philosophy at LSE, with its public dialogues and discussions, like the roundtables on philosophy for children, or on forgiveness, and on happiness. And we are aided by our associated Center for the Philosophy of Natural and Social Science, which mounts special research programs. For instance, I think right now we have uh, three voting power, God's order, man's order, and the order of nature, and evidence, especially evidence for use. The center also brings outstanding researchers to visit, who talk to our students and give seminars for us. From Nobel Prize winners like Kenneth Arrow and Willis Lamb, to the bright young researchers who are right now building the international community in philosophy of economics or worrying about climate modeling. We also have all the other fantastic departments of philosophy in London to draw on, and nearby, Cambridge, Oxford, Reading, Bristol. The LSE motto is rerum cognoscere causus, in English, to understand the causes of things. That's what we hope you would learn to do at our department here at LSE.